What's up guys, in this video I want to quickly show you how to get a connection string depending on whatever your database environment is. Best thing to do is go to your um, SQL Server management tool. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up here. So SQL Server Management Studio. And then from in here, um, just go ahead and copy whatever database name you have. So you should have a server already set up. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a video on my um, on my channel here that explains how to quickly do that after you install SQL Server 2008. So anyway, there's the name of my my database or server name. All right. So once you do that, I have an example folder set up under my Documents directory. And what we need to do is create a new text document, and we're just going to call this example. Once you create that, go ahead and double click on it to open it. And then we're going to save the file as example.udl. And then change this from text document to all files. Go ahead and save it. We can close that. Now we can delete example.txt file. And we have this example.udl file. Go ahead and double click that. And then from here, what we want to do is I'm using, um, depending on whatever type of security you set up on your SQL Server, I use just my regular Windows security, so I'm going to change that there. And I'm going to go ahead and just select from the drop-down the name of uh, my, my server instance, which is uh, the name of my computer. Now on this, you should have the databases that you have set up under your SQL Server instance. Uh, I have a database one that I'm connecting to. And once we do that, we can go ahead and just say OK. Now, you can also test the connection. And it tells you that the connection is good. It's a good idea to go ahead and test the connection. All right, now once we've tested the connection, it works. Now we can go ahead and right click on the example and go ahead and say Open With. And you should have the option. You may have to choose, um, you can choose a default program. But anyway, just go ahead and open it with Notepad. And by opening it with Notepad, you can actually see that this is the connection string right here. So this entire thing is what you would need to put into the Visual Studio web config so that um, it would connect. So in another video, I'll go ahead and, and explain how to do that. But anyway, that is how you get your exact connection string. So it's pretty sweet. It's an easy way of doing it instead of trying to figure out what version of SQL Server you have and going to connectionstrings.com. So thank you. Please subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.